Hi everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training and I have a quick tip for you on how to use the voting feature in Microsoft Office Outlook. Now the version I'll be using today is version 2010, but this is applicable in version 2007 and 2003, just to mention a few. It's a great feature that allows you to take a vote of, let's say, your employees. Maybe you're trying to find out among a group of 25 that you're going to have a luncheon, a meeting luncheon, and you're trying to find out from a group of 25 who's a vegetarian, who wants turkey, etc. Or maybe you're trying to evaluate and find out uh, what people would like to see training in this year, but you get the idea. So let's get started on how you're going to do this. I think you're really going to like it. It is a big, it's a big time saver when you've got to, to survey your employees. Here we go. It all begins with an email. And of course, you would key in the names of everyone that you want to send the email to. Everyone that you want to send the email to. And then, of course, be sure you put a subject. Like I might say, training for 2011. What would you like to see? So whatever the subject needs to be. While you're in the email, go to the options tab and click and there you can set the voting buttons from the voting buttons when you click the down arrow you are presented with some defaults a prove reject button a yes no button but if what you want isn't in this list then you would choose custom and that's what i need custom after you choose custom then you'll be presented with the properties dialog box and up under voting and tracking options it's set to give and approve reject button inside the email that's sent but I need something custom I backspace over that and I'm going to ask them if they would like to see any Microsoft Office 2010 training this year would they like to learn more about social media you get the idea so you're putting everything in and separating it with a semicolon with a semicolon Google Plus, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. You get the idea. So I won't I won't keep on with those choices. But just remember that each choice needs to be separated with a semicolon. When you've completed that, then click close. Then you would be free to add anything to the body of the message that you want and then send it on. Keep this in mind though. A, a couple of things. One, you need a Microsoft Exchange server in order to uh, have an official count on the responses. Uh, for example, when you send this email, of course, the sent email is going to the sent folder. As people respond and they vote, this is all being tracked inside the email you sent. So when you want to look at the numbers, like how many people voted for Microsoft Office classes, how many people voted they'd like to see classes on uh, LinkedIn for their career, then you will need to go open up the email that you sent and that will all be calculated inside that email if you're on Microsoft Exchange server. Now once more uh, at the top, when you look at the top it says you have uh, above the to button it says you have added voting buttons to this message but you don't see the buttons. It's the person on the receiving end that's going to see the button and then you would send it on. Now I've gone ahead and created one earlier so you can see how it would look on the receiver's end. So on the receiving end, when they open up their email, in their respond group located on the message ribbon, they have an extra button, one that says vote. And when they click the vote button, it pops up with the list of options you provided when you created those voting uh, choices. When they make a choice, so let's say we make a choice of Google Plus. Then they are prompted with uh, send the response now or edit the response before sending. Edit the, edit the response before sending just allows them to write something additional in the email. But e either way, the subject of the email will be the option they chose from the list. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And then I could send that off, but you get the idea. I hope you found this tip helpful. Try out the voting feature and let me know what you think. So it is bye for now. More tips coming later.